girl shake Isotopes are different variations of the same element with an altered mass. Different isotopes of the same element have the same number of protons in their atomic nuclei, but an unlike number of neutrons. Radioisotopes are radioactive isotopes of the same element, hence the name. They can also be defined as atoms that contain an unstable combination of neutrons and protons. Nickel-63 is a radioactive isotope mostly used in industry for the detection of explosives. Unlike many other isotopes, it is not produced as a fission product, but is actually the result of neutron capture in nickel-62. Nickel-63 has 28 protons and 35 neutrons. It has an estimated half-life of approximately 100 years, and it undergoes radioactive decay through negative beta particle emission, leading to the creation of a stable copper-63 Nucleus. Nickel is naturally present in various ores and to a lesser extent in soil. It occurs in minerals such as garnierite, millerite, nickelite, pentlandite, and pyrotite. It is also found in most meteorites and often serves as one of the criteria for distinguishing a meteorite from other minerals. Most of the world's supply of nickel is mined in Canada. Other sources include Cuba, parts of Russia, China, and Australia. The United States has no large deposits of nickel and accounts for less than 1% of the annual world output. When it comes to application in the real world, this isotope comes in handy quite a lot. It is used to detect explosives, dangerous chemicals, firearms, metals, and leaks in plumbing. It is also used to manufacture voltage regulators, resistors, surge protectors, and other materials used in circuitry. As stated previously, this isotope is most commonly used as an explosion detector. This is made possible by a technology known as a CTX scanner. This scanner is seen in the form of a gateway or even a handheld device. The device works by ejecting electrons into the air. When an electron capturing compound, i.e. explosives, are present, the detector notes a change. These detectors are most commonly found in airports and government buildings, as this is a matter of great safety. The only significant disadvantage of using this isotope is that it is hazardous internally if ingested. The lack of harmful characteristics is due to the fact that the nucleus of its parent isotope is relatively small compared to the other elements. This limits its ability to transmit harmful amounts of radiation that may cause mutations in living things, like cancer. Overall, this isotope is more helpful than harmful. Nickel-63 is a beta emitter which poses low risk to humans compared to other more radioactive isotopes emitting gamma rays. The radiation from raw Nickel-63 can only travel about 2 inches in the air before getting dissipated. Due to the fact that nickel-62 has a relatively small nucleus, means that there are extremely large amounts present in nuclear reactor vessels, which leads to large amounts of nickel-63 being produced. This allows for the cost of this isotope to be relatively low. Last but not least, nickel-63 detects explosives and can help stop major disasters. In other words, this little handheld device that contained this isotope can help prevent this, 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 that, and this, which makes this isotope pretty helpful. Going back to radioisotopes in general, many are extremely helpful in terms of energy production, safety, in the medical field, etc. Many have the reputation for being deadly as well. All in all, this isotope of nickel is primarily positively impacting mankind, and it's helping us move towards a better and safer future. <laughs>